Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is known as the Polo Fields, where the cars are loaded up at the end of car week. Pebble Beach has finished and that means hundreds of cars need to be taken home and all of the trucks line up behind. And believe me, there are some gems to go and find. So let's take a look and see what cars roll through. You might have spotted that F12 TDF that was rolling behind. Cars of all descriptions, classics, new cars, old motorsports cars. But let's head up and you see that actually, down there beyond the TDF, that yellow car is an F60 America, one of only 10. Let's get all the way up there, but just look at everything that you see lurking in the different trucks. There are so many trucks. Who knew you could have this many at one event, to be honest. This TDF is very nice. The colors of that stripe go incredibly well. The interior as well. Whoa, nice, nice. Ooh, with the blue carbon blades on the side. I like that a lot. Good color scheme, that man. So, let us continue. What else do we have? Ah, Glickenhaus's Modulo, the Ferrari Modulo, that he's been restoring and making run again. And the SCG003 inside. They've made this work, which is very cool. Ferrari SA Aperta, convertible 599 GTO, only 80 of those. But I'm coming straight through because I want to see this yellow one. One of the 70th anniversary Lussos. That's a pretty special car, actually. That looks really good, too. I like the way you get these stripes designs on Ferraris, but this is what we've come to see. I was actually out here in California about four years ago when this car was launched. It's to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Ferrari in America. Hence, you have the plaque here. 1954 to 2014, Ferrari 60 years in the USA, quite literally. They only built 10 in total. If I recall correctly, it was two or three million dollars for the car. It's basically through their kind of one-off program. More recently, they did a celebration uh, in Japan. So there are 10 of the Japanese J50 cars, but this has the target top that removes the carbon fiber panels lift off so the roof panel and this panel and you just have these buttresses but basically it's an f12 convertible which is in my mind kind of perfect awesome awesome setup front engine naturally aspirated v12 open top experience decent amount of luggage space in the back and this is painted in giallo tristrato the triple layer yellow paint stunning stunning car honestly one of my absolute favorites ever i think I like how open this is as well for the airflow out of the back of the wheel wells. Really nice in yellow with the blue stripe. Really, really, really nice. Guys, I'm pretty obsessed with this car. I like it a lot. It's a winner. Just about every type of car comes through here from that, which I have absolutely no idea what it is, to the F60 America and the Lusso. This is dreamland if you like cars of every type every description hop around the corner where there's an old f1 car there's a flash of red there and i've just spotted something else in the background so there's a ferrari super america just here but come round and look what we've got can you just see the flashes of the golf edition ford gt that i went in the other day i guess that is being loaded right around the back here love it so that's a prototype heading back to ford now but newly introduced the Heritage Edition, paying tribute to the cars that won at Le Mans following the GT40 earlier, but in 1967 and 68, that will be taken back home as well. But there, that was what I was first looking at, the F12 TDF. It's funny, you can barely hear the noise of the GT over the sounds of the trucks coming through. Lotus powered by Ford F1 car of the day. So many crazily valuable cars around. It makes these modern cars look well, almost nothing compared to some of the classic stuff. I don't know the details of all of the racing cars, but I know there are some incredibly special things around us here. Farewell for now, GT. We will see you again soon. So what else is around? You see what I mean? I go from a Ford GT to that car, to empty trucks, to things that are already loaded into the back of trucks. There's an old Ferrari race car of sorts up there too. Ooh, the 300 SLR from Mercedes in green. You need to come see that too. Now, if I'm right, this is basically a Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing made into a racing version, as opposed to the actual racing 300 SLR. Something quite confusing. All I do know is it looks really cool. And in there, it's a 300 SL Roadster, I believe, soft top up on the back of it. This is very cool with the green, green wheels, red interior. Nice. The modulo is being loaded up. That sounds nuts. It's so low. Epic, epic rumble. And then, yeah, just a casual Ferrari 250 California. This is absolutely beautiful, to be honest. 
the 60s were the heyday for Ferraris, the 250 California. I mean, is this worth, what, 15 million or something? 20 million dollars, something like that, just in one car? Makes something like a TDF seem not special at all at one million dollars or so, but obviously all of these cars, due to the value, have to get fully inspected before they're loaded to make sure that everything is accounted for and correct. The line of cars coming through is ridiculous. There's a McLaren SLR down there for every different type. Another Ferrari is another 250 Cali. Just got to be crazy, crazy money in this car park right now. The W Motors Paneer has arrived too. Hadn't spotted that coming in. W Motors, of course, from Dubai, the car that we saw at the Festival of Speed that I jumped in for a ride. Radical, crazy design, flat six engine. Off they go. An 812 super fast is always a wonderful thing. I need to drive another one of those. Some more beautiful old Ferraris. Lovely, lovely. A bit more modern there with the 430 16M. 16M, by the way, stood for the 16 Formula One World Championships. It was the celebration of that achievement from Ferrari. And then on this side, we have the cars coming through Daytona Spider. Not that many of those, I believe, around. Dino. Is that a Nart? I think that is a Nart. Almost priceless, worth an awful lot, Nart Spider. And another California Spider. I mean, what are we looking at here? Probably 20 million on each side, something like that. Ridiculous. How about this then, a Ferrari Testarossa. Now, the last time I came to Pebble Beach, there was actually an anniversary for the Testarossa, and there was an entire lineup, I think of around 20 of these, which at the time were valuable, and the markets have only gone one way since, and those would now be near on priceless. With all of this going on, I've also just noticed I've been standing next to a Benz patent motor wagon, the first ever car. In goes the SA Aperta. That's such a nice colour, that light blue metallic. The F60 is up next then. It's got a red seat on the interior, so the, the car was released with the dual tone interior style. So as you saw in there, red on one side, black on the other, with black accents on one side, red accents on the other, so mix it up a little bit. The original launch colour was blue. But this is part of a very yellow car collection when it gets back towards its home. Oh, there's also the US flag on the back of the seats, the dark blue leather on the inside going with the blue stripe on the exterior. goes then bye bye for now I like that car an awful lot probably one of my absolute favorite Ferraris I wish I knew a little bit more I don't think the one I saw earlier was actually a Testarossa by the way but the story was still relevant in any case they are very expensive very old Ferraris and this, by the way, is a 1966 GT40, not the Le Mans winner, although it's the same colour, it doesn't have the pink accents, uh, but it is a car that raced in that same year, which of course was a pretty significant one for Ford with the GT40s. Sounds so good and it looks so cool as well. The hoop so high in the air is a little bit crazy. Off it goes back towards its base. Look what we have found right here. The Chirons are being loaded. So, the white one with the new Skyview roof is just going in right now. And then behind it is the Chiron Sport. Chiron Sport, so this was the new edition launched at the Geneva Motor Show. Slightly lighter than the regular Chiron. A bit of work done to revise things. It has a carbon fibre uh, windscreen wiper around the front. And this car, of course, with the gloss red paintwork towards the front and all the carbon fibre around the back. And also the red engine covers. And this is super grumbly. It's just a deep, rough sound that it makes. And those presumably going to be heading back to Europe. It's cool to see the 
Chirons. Of course, Bugatti launched the Devo just two days ago out here at Quail, ahead of Pebble Beach Day, which is loosely based on the Chiron, but the more agile and focused version. But this thing just moves with the sound of power. Up it goes then. Quite actually cool to see the lights with the uh, brake pedal pressed, of course, with the way the shape works around the full full width light bar that it has and then the brake light that wraps around it. But this is a European spec, the US spec cars have kind of extra pieces for federalization to make them pass the rules and things. Kind of unsurprisingly, just about everybody came to see the Chirons being loaded, but nice to see those as well. But the highlight of the evening for me is definitely the F60 America. I love that thing, but seeing all of the cars being loaded up, knowing that they're traveling around the world, the trucks will be taking them around the US, plenty will be going to airports as well to be sent back to Europe, to Japan, to Australia, wherever they may be going. I just need to move out of the way of a car that's just coming out. But these, I mean, things come to Pebble Beach from literally around the world. Car week has been crazy. Still just hearing and enjoying the grumble of that as it gets loaded up into the truck there. It's obviously a pretty nice thing to be enjoying. But I am absolutely exhausted after today. It's been a great day at Pebble Beach, but thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this look and seeing that F60 America. Love that thing. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.